morning, everyone. Actually, good morning. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. I'm reviewing Alta here today because of the fact that it has earnings out tonight. So, let's look at it. Oh, I don't know what that did. Uh, let's look at this here. Now, I do remember that. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> wow, this is really going to gap up. I mean, this is absolutely going to gap up. This is really going to gap up. Target's 165. It could even gap right there. No chance of failure. This doesn't gap up. I mean, this is the first thing I think when I see it. Like, I didn't even look at this. I just wanted to just take the video on the fly. I haven't, I haven't looked at this for a while. There, there's no way this doesn't gap up. This, this could gap up ten dollars overnight. This is really gonna gap up, and I, and I don't, I don't know how it's gonna play out then on the day in the gap. But this is gonna have a gap up of size, like this is gonna get bought big time tonight. Like this could gap up ten dollars, like it could gap up to the target. So I just don't know how it plays out in the day. There's no way this doesn't gap up. Well, you might be going long urban tomorrow. I actually think even if it gaps up to the target, it's going to work out. If it gaps up to 165, the target is 180, 182, 182.50. I'm to write this down right now. Hold on. 165 is the target, which could happen in the gap. If it does gap up to 165, I still think this works as a long 180. The target for Alta this year is 180, 181, 182, 182.50. Could this gap down? Yes. Do I think it's going to happen? Absolutely not. In fact, if it gaps down, it is going to be really, really messy this gaps down. I don't I don't I don't see myself aggressively doing this as a short. Now, I could be wrong. I could rate it if it gaps down and it could rate well as a gap down and I could go after it. Would I do it anywhere near like I did yesterday's cores though? No. I just I think that a gap down in this would be very sloppy unless it does something that makes me see otherwise, but it's almost like this thing is waiting to take off. I mean, this looks almost exactly like the market, quite frankly. This looks exactly like the chart of the Qs. Let's look at it. Tomorrow is Friday. It's the last day of the month. So, yeah. Alta. Gap up tonight and market rally on Friday, the last day of the month. And that's how I'm calling this all to play out. We'll see what happens. I will rate this if it gaps down. I, There's no chance that happens, though. I mean, there's just no chance that happens. The first thing I thought as soon as I saw this chart was huge gap up, like massive. Like this could literally gap up $10. And it hasn't done that anywhere in here. I mean, this one in here closed at 144. Well, no, actually it did. I didn't even realize that. This actually did gap up $10 here. I didn't even realize that. I didn't even realize that, but, but, but it's not going to be like this. If this gaps up, it's, I think it's going to play out as long. I mean, if this gaps up to 165 and gaps up to that target, I think it goes to 180. Like, I, I think it has massive buying that comes into the gap and continues and follows through. I will rate it, though. I, I actually may go long Alta tomorrow. I can't even believe I'm saying this. But I think the market will make a new high tomorrow, possibly, even in a gap, and Alta higher. And unless we get a good bearish gap, we'll, we'll do Alta. I actually think Alta will work out as a long even if it gaps up $10. There's no way this gaps down. I mean, obviously, it could. Anything could happen. I'm not in the trade until it sets up. But... The immediate thing, my first instinct here, as soon as I see this, is just no chance of failure that it will gap up and that it will be a 
humongous gap up. I mean, that it will just be humongous. It could even be bigger than this. I wouldn't even put it past his gain over 170. In fact, I'm just going to say it. Alta could gap up over 170. And then run to 180, 181, 182, 182.50. In ideal world, Alta gaps up tonight to 165 or over 170 and has a huge, huge move and still holds in a gap like that and rallies on the day with the market tomorrow morning, which should gap up or neutral tomorrow. Market, market is going to be bullish tomorrow no matter what it does unless it gaps down somewhere that would tell me otherwise, but I don't see that happening because we gap down today and we're going to hold neutral so market's probably going to open neutral tomorrow and rally or gap up and rally or gap up big and rally and alta with the market which also is going to move before the market because alta is going to gap up tonight and the market isn't going to gap till the morning i actually think this could get over 170 in the gap like in my mind i'm seeing this and it looks different than this so i think it actually could be much much larger than this i didn't realize this was ten dollars here but this actually was a $10 gap up here. It did not work as a long on the day, but I actually, in my mind, am picturing something much larger. Like this could actually gap up 15 points. No, I'm sorry, Alta, Alta, not Urban. Well, for those of you that like to do options, I'm going over this. There is no chance this doesn't gap up. I'm telling you right now, it was the first thing that I saw. And every time I say that in something that's, you know, it's the first thing that I see when it's so, so clear. And do you know that I said that here? Does anyone remember that? I think I even did. I did. I did. I did. Now some of these stocks are just, the moves in these things are tremendous. I mean, the dream target on Alta this year is 200 and that's not even insane because it's gonna gap up tonight and it's June. It's not even June. And the markets continue to rally. I mean, look at what some of these stocks are doing. I mean, it is almost, it's fantastic. I don't have any other word for it. It, it just, you know, look at what some of these stocks are doing here in this market. I mean, look at these things. Look at what these things are worth. Netflix is worth almost $630. Ulta, the beauty place where I go and buy OPI nail polish is is gonna could rally to 200 this year i mean this is a share it's really something all right so any questions about alta any questions at all about alta okay any questions again we won't do anything with this until it gaps but this is in play tomorrow for friday and could be what we do will i rein it if it gaps down of course if, if it gaps down, will I short it? If it rates over 20 points, absolutely. Do I think it's going to happen? No way. No way at all. And to be honest, this would have to be the most perfectly thing in the world for me to short it. Because even if it sets up as a short tomorrow and gaps down and rates well, I think it's going to be very tough to grab. Like, I think it's going to be tough to grab it. Like, the way that we got that trade yesterday in Coors was so expertly traded. And we grabbed it at the perfect place. Nobody got a better price than we did, unless you traded at pre-market, which we don't do because there's unlimited risk. But I'm telling you that even if this sets up tomorrow as a short, it's going to be tough to grab it, right? And so, you know, I really would have to be watching it all morning to determine how I'd even want to short it, right? Like as far as the entry or where, or where, okay? This would play out smoother and cleaner and nicer if it gaps up. Although every time it's gapped up, it's dropped and got sold off. And people will look at this tonight if it gaps up $10 and traders will try to short this. They will. They will absolutely try to short this. They do every time. But I don't know what it'll rate if it gaps up until I rate it. But I'm just saying that it's not going to be like this this go-round next time. 
If this gets up tonight, $10 or up over 170, which should be a 15 point jump, it's not going to play out like it did the last time. It just isn't. And the target will be over 180. So we'll go for it. But this is like, this is going to go tomorrow with the market. That is a good option if you want to do it. If you want to do it tonight and take risk in it, there you go. I feel as strongly about this as I did about Netflix. Okay. So there you have it. Well, actually, that's not true. I mean, there's nothing that I feel as strongly about as this. <laughs> there's really nothing that I feel as strongly about as this. Well, that's not true either. This and the market. I'm in love with Netflix and the market. I feel strong about all of these things as we are one. All right, any questions from anyone today about anything today on the uh, Alta? If not, this is Melissa with thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone. If you're interested in the next Golden Gap class, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com.